this is their pen. They got the majority, well, basically the whole extension of the length of this van up here is for the chickens to lay eggs in. Yeah, so there's like a little nest up here where they can like lay their eggs um, if they can't get up in the roof. So my name's Nico. I live in my van with two goats, three chickens, and one dog. <laughs> My fuzzy goat is named Lachlan. I thought he looked like one of those little fuzzy Scottish cows, so I gave him a Scottish Gaelic name. It means to the land of the lakes because he has these beautiful blue eyes. He's super sweet. He's like a little angel, but he's like a little space cadet. He like zones out all the time. He's very food motivated and nap motivated and <laughs> lounging motivated. He's always just eating and just enjoying everything and <laughs> looking at views. This is Bergsteiger. Um, I had him since he was about two and a half weeks old. Bergsteiger is the bigger one, and he's the more athletic one. He's like always on edge, Mr. Protector, but the athletic one, so he gets, he does most of the work. Good job, perfect. Usually his butt's really ticklish. <laughs> Good job. His breed comes from the Alps, and his name means mountaineer in Swiss German. Basically translates to Berg is mountain and Steiger is climber. They used to actually breed alpines, which is his breed, to protect the other goats from like wolves and stuff in the mountains. Which makes a lot of sense because he can take on like five dogs comfortably I've seen before, like four shepherds and one like pit bull. I bottle fed him in my van. I got Lachlan exactly a week later. They're both born on the same day. And yeah, they both used to sleep in bed with me until I got too big. Traveling with the goats is interesting. I think it's super fun. They're, they travel really well. They grew up in my last van and they're awesome adventure buddies. And the goats, I don't think they're stinky. If anything, my dog, his farts are pretty nasty. I don't think it's really that bad. I kind of like the smell of goats, so I don't really mind it. It just smells like a barn. I get the cedar shaving, so it just smells like earthy. I hope to one day convert people to goat people instead of just dog and cat people. Because yeah, they're super useful. Barrick's talking about a bigger goat. He can pack 60, 70 pounds, which can super extend backcountry trips. He's very athletic. He's like, moves like a horse. The long legs are really good traversing like rocks and trees and stuff. Lachlan can carry 20 to 30 pounds. So together it's almost 100 pounds they can carry, which is amazing. And then Lachlan, I can shear him twice a year and makes five of his fiber. It's basically like wool, and you can make like hats, scarves, whatever. So you could have one goat making your clothing pretty much, and the other one like carrying all your gear. Smiles. Maybe there's something to this fan life. Well, that dog should kept her company, but there's still plenty of room to boost. So she filled that bed with a two goat pen and a three fat hidden chicken coop. Yes, she filled that bed with a two goat pen and a three fat hen. My van's name is EDSI, which is also the name of my nonprofit. It stands for Education Station because I basically want to be a traveling education platform. Getting to know the place you're in makes you love it more, and when you care about it more, you want to protect it. So basically, just getting people outside and connected and also connects you with yourself too. When it comes to climate change and us, us making a difference, it's like very overwhelming and a lot of people just don't make changes or when they start thinking about things and learning more, they get really sad and then are less likely to make changes. Um, so I just want to make it fun. And then these guys kind of turned into my accidental mascots. They were just my pets beforehand and then I kind of realized they're like human magnets so I could bring the humans in. Basically, we just want to inspire people to just do a little better, care about yourself more, care about nature and care about your neighbors. And even if it is just people have, having a better day because I saw goats, like that's, that's awesome. <laughs>
Yeah, she filled that van with a two goat pen and a three fat hen chicken coop. Let me know if he's blocking it or anything. Is that okay? Or do you want to be little?